What's up everybody, this is Inked Imagination, and I am one half of Team Animex. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Animex Beast Armor Volume 2 cover. So, let's get to it. Um, this cover is a lot more simple than the first cover, but although that is true, it was definitely a little more challenging than the first one. Um, the first one has so much more detail, but I didn't really have too many issues with painting that cover. But when I painted this cover, it, it gave me a little complication. One of the biggest issues was the white background. Um, this cover was sketched out before it was painted, and having such a light color, it, it took many layers to get that white to be just a nice, clean, pure white color. And this is, this was also a little more challenging, and, well, not more challenging, but challenged me as an artist and as a painter as well, because... Well, if you refer to my artwork on the channel, um, I rarely use a white background in my art. I like to express myself and display a message in a more detailed manner. So, simplifying things, like for instance with this cover, it was different for me. Um, you would think it would be easier, but for me, it was but to a certain extent. Um, there was some smudging and I had to fix it, of course. And that red oval behind the characters, that was a big pain in the behind. <laughs> Seriously, it was. I used acrylic paint for this cover like I did with the first one. Um, I sketched the image before painting it. Um, then I decided to layer on the white in the background so those layers of paint can dry while I start blocking in the colors. Uh, tip for you painters out there, with acrylic paint, I suggest you block in your colors first. That way you can let it dry while you layer on more paint. Once you get a good solid layer, um, add the shadows and the highlights. Um, what I did was with some of the some of the detail in this was I faded, like the the shadows and the highlights into the solid color, and then I moved on to the the red oval in the background, which. In the long run, we decided to recreate it digitally as a better design choice. And the very last thing that I did with this cover was outlining. I recommend um, if there's a solid background, layer that on first. That way it can dry while you uh, paint the other spots. Um, definitely. As I mentioned, block in your colors first, and what I mean by that is put that first layer of paint on every part of the uh, canvas. It will be light, but just put on that first layer, that way you, you have your colors down. Um, outline last. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, I recommend... Um, I use a Micron ink pen, which is very good quality. Oh, and if you want to get that cool fading effect that I really enjoy doing, um, make sure the paint is still wet. That way when you fade the color, another color, into the solid color, it, you can, it'll easily flow. It'll be almost like mixing the two together. Um, despite my complications and setbacks, um, I'd have to say some of my favorite parts of this cover 
would have to be um well first off let me introduce the characters on the left is emmy and on the right is kimiko i really enjoyed bringing out that that shadow on emmy's shirt that kind of defines her figure and i really enjoyed doing kimiko's outfit a lot um kimiko's black and red outfit I really like um, I think that it complements her character and for those of you who will read the story I think you will agree with me you'll see what I mean um, a few other things that I like is Emmy's hair and her sweatpants I love Kimiko's mask and her blade and also I like the the way the oval turned out in the background and just to give you guys a heads up um, this cover really has a lot of symbolism in it so for those of you who are new or just may not know Animex B Summer Volume 1 is free on inkblazers.com and I um, want to let you guys know that a link to Purchase Volume 2 of Animex Be Summer um, will be posted below in the description box. And to wrap this video up, some upcoming videos will be previews of the book, how to get yourself a free copy, pre um, reviews, you know, just Animex stuff. So, um, we would like to thank you guys for your support we really appreciate it we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back with much more